Hello, my name is Justin Hickman and I'm a senior software engineer at Cincha. We're going to be discussing how to theme your GXT applications using GXT4. With some GWT widget libraries, including the GWT widgets themselves, theming or styling is typically done by implementing CSS outside of the application. These widgets will typically have base CSS class name or an element ID on them so that you can create CSS off of it. This method does work and allows the developer to quickly style the widgets, but may have problems down the road with styling internal portions of the widget. Unless the widget has class names throughout the child elements, developers will tend to change their CSS selectors to use the DOM elements, but this may not have been intended for styling. If the widget were to ever change its internal DOM structure, the widget itself can be negatively impacted. The DOM structure, outside of the published CSS class name, is usually meant to be a black box. With GXT 3.0, Cincha introduced the API design to GXT, which is based off the design that Google introduced to handle these particular cases. With the Appearance API, two responsibilities are now separated, the widget logic versus the visual representation. In Cincha GXT, components define the abstraction of all of the necessary touch points between the logic that rests inside the component and the visual portions. From this abstraction, applications can have multiple implementations for these interfaces that can dramatically change the look and feel of the component without impacting any of the logic and without the tight coupling. Taking it a step further, Cintra GXT has also released a theme builder that allows quick creation of a huge set of appearances from a simple configuration file. The theme builder exercises the ability to have these multiple implementations by supporting theme image slicing. For any theme with rounded borders or gradients, Cintra GXT theme builder will handle this as part of the theme generation. This replaces the need to manually slice up a screenshot to support browsers that cannot display CSS3 natively. Let's take a closer look at how we can generate a new theme using this theme builder tool. The theme builder today is a command line tool that takes arguments such as the theme generation path, image override path, and the theme configuration file plus many more. These can be seen by passing the dash H flag to see all of the options. For this example, we will use the Neptune configuration file as our base. All we must do to quickly create our own theme from this configuration file is to copy to a new location. This will contain all of the required configs. Alternatively, the GXT release zip file contains skeleton configs that can also be used. Now we can edit the configuration to change the base package and the name of the theme. These portions of the config are important to be sure that the generated sources in the jar output have the correct structure and naming. With minimal command line, we can generate a new jar off of this config. For this example, you can see that I'm also passing the slice disable true program argument to bypass running the image slicing as this theme is only intended for modern browsers that support CSS3. As you can see, we now have a jar in the current directory. Taking a quick glance at the generated jar, we can identify that the theme name and the base package were used. This jar can now be used in our application by adding the above inherent line in our GWT module XML file. So let's take a look at the sample application using this newly generated theme jar to see what it looks like. As you can see from this small widget set, we now have buttons that look identical to Neptune buttons. Just to see how quick and easy it is to apply our own theming, let's now change the configuration and make the button borders red. For buttons and toolbars, we have this other place that we must update. Let's change this one to bright green color. Now we can run the theme builder command once again to generate a new jar and we can load that up into our application just as before and see the newly changed styles. To see more of this or for instructions on more complicated scenarios, please head over to the Cincha documentation website and also please visit www.cincha.com to find out how we can further support your development efforts. We are eager to partner in your success.